Good morning everyone and welcome back to another video. I'm back in the bell tower this morning because we've got two days to try and make this bell ring from pulling a rope. So it should be good fun. We've got a little bit of work ahead of us. So let's crack on. The first thing that I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mount a steel rod here, which will go up about two or three foot and it will have a link on the end for a piece of rope and it will go back to this beam here, which will have a pulley on it. And that rope will come all the way down to this link here, which I believe is where the rope used to go. It's quite smooth inside. And there's a metal bracket here. And then further down, you can see a notch out of the oak. You can see how smooth that is, where obviously something probably used to be here or the rope sat in there possibly, because it is directly below that one. There's something very uneasy about being directly below the bell, even though it's bolted to the frame of the bell tower and it's still got a ratchet strap around the bell and the headstock, but still. <laughs> I don't recommend going down a ladder the wrong way, but I just want to show you this thing in the floor here. So directly below where I believe the rope used to go, there is this in the floor and it's really smooth inside and if you look in further you can see some red terracotta bricks right Sean yeah, here we go so you got the tool <laughs> demolition mode and we need to break through to whatever's below this okay do you think that will fit uh, there's only one way to find out <laughs> <laughs> so we give it a go. Go on, go for it, mate. All right. So I'll take it out. Go on, take it out. Ooh. Wow, look at that. That's amazing, isn't it? Yeah. All that one piece of wood. It's been turned. All hand, hand turned, yeah. Right, now, what have we in here? So I can see the terracotta brick, Sean. Yep. So just give it a tap, mate. Okay. Let's see if we can get through. Go on, Sean, go for it, mate. Oh, oh, you're through. You're, through. I'm you're completely through. Yeah. Sean, you've got your big rod. I have. We're going to give it a go. Let's see how far it goes down. Okay, is that insulation? Yeah, so we know where. Yeah, go on, keep tapping. Do you reckon you'll go through? <laughs> oh, you've gone through. I've gone through. Should we go downstairs and see where that's gone? Better, yeah. Okay, come on then. Make sure I ain't hit Rick on the edge. <laughs> <laughs> right, here goes everybody. Here goes. Oh well, look at that. You could not. Oh my make goodness it up. me. That is absolutely perfect. That is literally where I probably would wanted it to come down as well. Yeah, so that's where I envisioned it to go. Yeah. Look at that, Sean. That's brilliant. That is. Good yeah. So if we tidy that up, we better drop the rope down. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. yeah. What about poking down the other way? I'm dropping that. No, that'll be fine. I'll go downstairs and yeah. pull it through. As long as that hook doesn't get snagged on our hole. So it's all done, Sean. Yeah. Thank you so much job. for your help. It's all right. Um, I just need to get a pulley now from the builder's merchant and yeah. um, this rope is only temporary by the way because we have um, some really good stuff coming, okay. some quality bell rope. Yeah. Um, what are they called? Are they called a sally, the things that you pull? I think it is a sally, yeah. Yeah, so yeah, is it like, sally. is it made of cotton or wool? I reckon it's wool, isn't it? I would imagine, possibly, yeah, something hard. Mind you, cotton's quite hard wearing. Yeah, so you see them in bell towers, don't you, in yeah. old churches in England generally. I haven't seen any like anything like that in France. No, this is not something you come across every day, is it? No. It'd be nice to find something like that, though, wouldn't Definitely, it? Definitely, yeah, something period that goes with the keeping. Yeah. The design. So I've yeah. just got to do a little metal bracket. And then, yeah, I think it's going to be ready to ring. <laughs> this is actually going a lot more easier than I thought it would. It is, yeah, but don't speak too soon. <laughs> <laughs> I've allowed myself two days to do this, um, and it's basically done. Yeah, no, you 
you've done yep. well. A lot yep. of it was in the planning. It was, yep. So, yeah, you've done, you done good, mate. And it's all pre-existing system anyway, isn't it? So Yeah, I mean, we was fortunate that there was yep. pre-existing holes. Exactly. Yeah. What we'll do, we'll neaten this hole up a little bit. Yeah. And maybe we'll put an oak patress over the top. That's a good idea, Sean, yeah. Up with the original upstairs. Yeah. That'll yeah. finish this off nice and neatly and stop this rope wearing against the ceiling. Yeah, that's a really good idea, Sean, yeah. So yeah, we'll get one of them fashioned. Yeah. Fashion so essentially an oak disc with a hole in the centre, yeah. Yeah, basically, yeah, just and to it protect. Just, it finishes off the hole and if we don't make it too big, it doesn't let too much draft out, will it? To be honest with you, there's hardly any draft no. through there. Well, there's a lot of insulation above, and it's sort of, we've sort yeah, of gone it's through it. Yeah, around it. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's perfect. Brilliant, mate. Thank you very much for the help. No problem. I'm back up in the bell tower now, and I've got this piece of steel, which I've put a link on this end for the rope to attach to. And there's two holes here, and that's going to screw into the headstock. And essentially, when it's on the headstock, the rope will pull it to ring. Um, so let me attach it now, then attach the rope and see what happens. Sean, yep. are you going to do the honours? Yep, I will. There is a bit of a knack to this. There certainly is. I've watched some YouTube videos. <laughs> yeah. Go on then. Right. Go on then. That's it. I think it's getting there. If I go flying up through the ceiling, will you grab hold of my feet? Oh, I heard something. That's it. Yeah, I can hear it. Well, I can definitely hear it, Sean. Yep. There is a bit oh, of a knack to it, you, isn't there? It gives you a work, yeah? It does. Do you you jingle bells? You don't hear it as much in here at all, do you, really? They're all becoming for mass now, Sean. <laughs> better lock the door. You better lock the door, mate. Yeah. Well done, well done, Sean. It's definitely working. Yeah, is it a bit of a workout? It is a workout, it's surprising. Uh, yeah. You know, they're fit, the people that do this. <laughs> wow. Brilliant. Right. Yep, so we've just got to do something there with the oak patress. Yeah. Uh, so I did it. message Michael and he's got one that he made. Okay, it's good. And he did say he'll pop down later. For real? but yeah. I won't hold him to that, because he's always busy. Well, it won't take long to fit. No. Nope. Slide it over, fix it in place, and it'll just stop yep. that damage to the ceiling. Brilliant. It needs a little bit of... Yeah, it does, yeah. A little bit of work to, to do. Brilliant. Maybe, maybe some knots in this to hold on to. Yeah. Because you really have to... Yeah, of course. Hold on to this. Yeah, it's just... Yeah. It don't take much to... No. Right. You only took a couple of inches. Look. Yeah. But it's got a good clapper then, hasn't it? Yeah. You have to get that rhythm just right. You do. Re you do realise that bell's directly above our heads. <laughs> That's a good point. <laughs> <laughs> every faith in your engineering, Billy. Yeah. That's it. Brilliant. All about the rhythm. It is. So 
So you've brought me a oak patress that you've made, Michael. Well, uh, it's just one left over from the bedroom, what, what I would have put a light switch on. Yeah. Um, but you needed something. You've got a hole in the ceiling where the rope comes through. Yeah. It looks a bit scruffy. It does look scruffy, yeah. <laughs> so I thought if you put that on the ceiling, yeah. and your rope can go through, and yep. then there you go. It's not exactly perfect, but it's... Uh, you won't see it on the ceiling. It's perfect for the convent. Thank you very much. There Cheers. You go. You're welcome. Um, I've got a favour to ask. Yeah. Before this video ends today, yep. I've got to go and open a sink trap. All right, let's go do it then. And it is the 22nd today, so we've got a few more sink traps to do. <laughs> Actually, no. Uh, tomorrow, I'll have to do two, won't I? Is it, is it 24? It's 20, 24. 24, generally, yeah. Yeah, you don't do one on Christmas Day. No. Unless you want to come down. <laughs> that, might be the, that might be the last one. The 25th might be Okay, let me grab the, uh, the wrench, yeah. and let's go and open a sink wrench. trap. I'll just look for one without... Have you been putting them back on? No, we haven't put any back on. Um, well, that, that's back on. Five, no, they're not, they haven't been put back on. We've done the whole top floor. Oh. And now we've got to do a few on this floor. But keep going, because there's probably not this one, the next one on the right, I think. This one on the right? This one, yeah. Number seven. We haven't done number seven. Oh, lucky seven. Lucky seven. All right. It's a bit better than the first time I did it. That's it. I've got modded. I've opened it in there someone's sink trap. Ah, <laughs> uh, so a bit of water. Nothing in there. Nothing at all. No, that's a shame. Isn't it, it is a shame, yeah. Better luck next time. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this video today everyone. I know I said that I was going to ring the bell on Christmas morning, but that's on Sunday. And on Sunday I'm going to be at home with my two boys, with Gwendolyn and the family enjoying Christmas. So yeah, I thought I'd do it today instead. For me, that's the end of the bell project. I'm really, really, really happy that it's now done. Um, one thing we've got to do is just replace the rope for better quality bell rope. And that's it. So thank you so much for watching this video today and I'll see you all tomorrow.